coming up next on CK Community Events. Join me, Brandon Paps, as we head to Wildwood by the Lake for their annual car show. That involves cars, motorcycles, and even fire engines here, and much, much more. We'll find some local hidden gems. Well, a lot of history on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to have more. And as well, find out how this event got a second life from some dedicated members. All this and so much more on this edition of CK Community Events. Paps, and we are here at Wildwood by the Lake for the great car show that involves cars, motorcycles, and even fire engines here, and much, much more here at Wildwood. This is a 1947 Chrysler. Chrysler what? Let's see it. Let's have a look. It's the Chrysler Windsor Coupe, and the owner is Al, I believe it's Friesen of Essex, Ontario. And if you could tell me a little bit about the car and how you acquired it. How I acquired it? Well, uh, last fall I was talking to a guy, a coffee buddy, you know. Right. I'm retired. I mean, retired. Uh, <laughs> right anyway, uh, there's only three cars I'd like, I said. 47 Chrysler Coupe. 48 might do, and the same years of a Buick Roadmaster or a Meteor 49, which my dad had. Very nice. And he says, I know where there's a 47 Chrysler Coupe, so away we went. Bought it the next day. Wow, that's, that's and it's an awesome well, car. It's, it's a nice shape. I've done a little bit of work on it, and there's a little bit more to be done on it. You know, it's not perfect, but it's, I'd say about a 95 out of 100, I, I suppose, you know. And that's not bad. So what have, what, what have you done on the vehicle? Well, most of it was done. The chrome was already done when I bought it. Mm -hmm. Supposedly 12 grand worth of chrome redone, redone on it. Wow. I need to get new hubcaps, but you can get new skins for those. Yeah. Uh, they're 60 bucks US a piece. And your friend there was mentioning that this actually came from Windsor. Yeah, this was supposedly built in, in, in Canada. It's a Chrysler Windsor Coupe. And uh, this, this, this uh, was, I think, uh, an estate car of the States. That's what I'm told out of southern Ohio, and then somebody imported it into Canada quite a number of years ago, had some stuff done on it, and uh, then I bought it from the next owner. There's two, I'm the third owner in Canada. Well, there we go, folks. So this is, uh, th that was the 19... 1947 Chrysler, Chrysler Windsor, Windsor Coupe. All right, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate the, uh, the interview. All right. I hope, they, hope I didn't break the camera. No, not at all. And if you could tell me a little bit of, about your vehicle and if this is your first time here? Yeah. No, the second time. Second time, yeah. perfect. It's, it's all original, 1960. There's only two in captivity. I got one, and the lady in Ohio's got one. They're made in Hamilton. Really? Yeah. So I found out about it, and I bought it. I, got, I had 11 cars, 47 antique tractors. Restored. Very nice. All restored. So I just want to get the model of this again. So this is the... Studebaker Lark, 1960 four-door. 1964 door. Very nice vehicle. Yeah. 60, you got 60,000 kilometers on it. Uh, 60,000 miles on it. It's all original. All right. Perfect. So, uh, so all original. All original. Uh, so paint, uh, interior. I painted it. Okay. Yeah. It, had, it was supposed to be all completely restored, and I bought it, and I raised it up, and I could stick my hands right up between the cowl, the duct tape, and the fiberglass. Oh, jeez. <laughs> in Indiana. And I asked for quarter panels for four-door. Uh, four He's never heard of one. I said, well, I got one. He never heard of one. He said, okay, you made, made in Hamilton, eh? And this is the state. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Okay, right. right. And have a good day. All right. And 
And uh, what do you think of the turnout uh, for this event here at Wildwood? Uh, actually, we're very happy with it. The weather is with us today, and that's all we could pray for. <laughs> exactly, yeah. and you couldn't ask for a better day. Oh, no, for sure. And then I got my good volunteers here. That's Let's do a little highlight of the uh, volunteers, if you'd like, Jeff. Yeah. They've worked hard all, all day so far, uh, bringing in the cars and getting them parked and everything. So they've worked really hard. And I've got a good base of volunteers all over. Like in in the hall, we've got uh, crafts. Over, we got a food court over there, and that takes about 18 people to run. You know, so this park's got a lot of good volunteers. Perfect. So all the shout out to all the volunteers. Yeah, that's right. It's not about me. It's about we. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So uh, we're very happy, and we're going to keep this weekend for each year now for an annual event. Perfect, and I'm sure we'll be here another year as well. That would be great. That would be great. This is our second year that we've ran it. Used to run, used to run it for about 12 years before, and then they quit. They quit it for four years, and we took it over uh, last year. Got it going again, and uh, you know it's bigger and better this year than it was last year. So hopefully. might as well. Yeah, hopefully uh, it will. Uh, end up being bigger next year. For sure, and it brings the people out, yeah, gives them right. something to do, and they can enjoy the wonderful weather and the nice cars. Exactly, yeah. Perfect, well, thanks again for uh, bringing this event back. Yes, you're welcome. All righty. Okay, All right, take care, eh? Okay, and just tell us a little bit about what this one is. Well, I got this here truck to Hallwood. It had an auction sale for $300. was a 91 Ford Ranger pickup truck. Okay. And it was so rotten, the box collapsed. So really? In the spring, I tore it all down, rebuilt all the running gear, and uh, started at the front here, put the colony. It's all fuel injected, power steering, power brakes, got a computer in it. It's got 13 working horns on there. 13? Yeah, it can even whistle whistle the, the, the female cops. But don't really? <laughs> I did. That wasn't any fun. It's a convertible, top will go down, all the doors will come off. I got door tops in the back that I can put on if it rains. Yep, the exhaust go up the back, out the top there. Now that's a unique vehicle right there. I did one of the best burnouts with this truck at Wyoming's Car Show. Everybody told me I did the muscle cars. Wow. Still lay a streak of rubber down. It's got a five-speed transmission in it, all manual. Now that's a powerful one. Yep. Oh yeah, three liter V6 Ford in there. V6 Ford, yep. nice. Yeah, runs good, drives good. I was told that this truck a week ago Saturday down at the show in London, 3,400 vehicles, a guy taking pictures like you come up and said, best truck in the whole show. I can imagine, yeah. And I says, really? For sure. Yeah, really, he's got 350,000 kilometers on the running gear, but so, like I say, it's rebuilt. <laughs> for sure, like I said, very unique uh, vehicle. And uh, thank you very much for uh, letting us interview. Thank you guys. Alrighty. Out here at Wildwood, by the lake, the turnout here for the car show has been a great success. You can't ask for a better day to enjoy these vehicles, to speak to these owners of, Can of Canadian-made and American-made vehicles here at Wildwood. Thank you for joining us for CK Community Events. My name is Brandon Paps. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day.